All right, YouTube. This is uh, Frank again with TX underscore Boss Tunes. I uh, wanted to show you uh, uh, some initial connection steps for hooking up to um, Tuner Studios. Uh, this is for Mega Squirt, uh, whether it's Micro, uh, the Pimp XS, uh, the um, MSPMP. In fact, uh, speaking of MSPMP too, uh, this might look a little different only because um, I did some sort of download from their website and it changed up the way my uh, getting started uh, screen is. So anyway, um, doesn't matter. Same options are still there. Um, I'll go ahead and create a new project. Uh, this is what you're going to do for the very first time you connect to Tuner Studios. So go through these prompts. Um, you'll, you'll get this first screen here. This is your chance to call your uh, project by your car name or anything unique that you want to call it I'll just call it my car and I'll just put YouTube for now uh, my car has already been connected to uh, to this uh, tuner studio so um, anyway I'll just leave it at, at that uh, make sure uh, your key is forward at this step um, you, you what you're doing is you're uh, detecting uh, your um, ECU and connecting it to tuner studio so hit detect um, it'll go through this screen here one thing I'll note is that um, you want to be hooked up to the internet the very first time that you connect because uh, if your uh, software doesn't have the proper firmware, uh, it'll automatically ask if you want to download it. Um, as you can see here, on my computer it found two. Uh, you've got a USB and RS-232. Um, I am going through a USB port, so I'll just go ahead and accept the USB. Uh, so click accept here. Um, and so you'll see it has uh, my my car has ms3 uh, because i'm using the stinger pimp xs um, micros and mspnp2 uh, those use ms2 anyway um, it's just confirming that so just hit next uh, brings you to this option um, it, it basically has all the settings for um, for the sensors and things as such that you're going to be using so click next here um, you'll see here uh, some more options your baud rate for my computer that's correct it should populate everything as it's supposed to you say you see here it says successful it's already tested your port so go to next and we should be connected let's see what we've got click finish and uh, my, my goal here is just to show you uh, other than the initial connection uh, as you can see it's sweeping everything is connected uh, one quick confirmation that you'll get uh, from your software is that um, you see the uh, the coolant temperature uh, and mine says 135 F my car has been turned on already once today um, I like to look at the map sensor uh, just because it, it confirms that uh, you did connect your map sensor correct. Um, I made a video earlier that uh, with the engine turned off, you should have roughly 100 kPa. Mine's 101.5. Um, 100 is you know uh, better, but it, this is this is no issue at all. It could be plus or minus a couple points there. Uh, so d the main thing is uh, just this is a good place to uh, just confirm that you do have the map sensor correct. The coolant temperature in my case is correct. Let's say yours is off. Um, this is a good uh, point to go ahead and set up all your um, calibration on your sensors. So go to tools. Um, the first one I like to do is TPS because it's the first one on the menu. Um, what, what you're looking for here is that um, with, without you pressing on the gas pedal, uh, you get current there. This option, get current. Click it a couple times there. Uh, click accept. Uh, and then go back, um, I guess I could have did both of them while I was there, but anyway, uh, go back to tools, calibrate TPS. Uh, now what you want to do is you want to floor the car and you want to get current on the full throttle option there. So do that and click accept. And you see up here on the TPS, it'll sweep from almost zero and then I'm flooring it, it goes to 99.9. .9. I mean, I could go through those steps again, but I'm, I'm happy with that. So this is varied, about half throttle. You can see here it's sweeping. Another confirmation that your TPS is connected. Um, the next thing you wanna calibrate is tools, 
go to calibrate thermistor uh, what you're doing here is uh, this is for a Fox Mustang by the way um, in, our, in my case uh, and if you're doing the same thing with the Fox uh, go to coolant temperature sensor uh, come down to this option here and select Ford <clears throat> uh, then go to right controller I'll go ahead and send that it says right complete so you're done there um, that that calibrates both your coolant temperature sensor and your air intake sensor you yeah, know I'll show you that uh, where that's located if you want to double check it so there's your coolant sensor you click on that and there's your air temperature sensor uh, it's already toggled to Ford so we're good to go uh, some people like to use GM sensors on the uh, Fords uh, some people say they read more accurate if that's what you choose to do there's your GM option and just make sure you write to controller uh, hit close um, the next sensor you want to calibrate uh, is going to be your AFR uh, which is going to be here we go calibrate AFR table okay so I happen to have a AEM wideband um, here it is uh, that one is on part of the drop down menu it is here you can select it you can hit right to controller and close um, I did not do that since mine's already been calibrated in fact I had to go a different route uh, my numbers weren't exactly matched uh, if you have to do that as well because you're off say a point or more uh, you have to go off of the voltage which uh, I can make another video at a later time to explain that um, okay so that calibrates all your sensors uh, one thing that uh, you need to do the very first time you set up your tune uh, if you get one from me, I'll have all this set up for you. Um, so go to this required fuel option. Uh, let me back out. Uh, that way you can see how I got there. Go to basic load uh, settings. Go to engine and sequential advance. Click on required fuel. Uh, here's you punch in the uh, engine cubic displacement. Uh, mine's a 408, 8 cylinder, 47 pound injectors. Uh, you can leave the air fuel ratio at 14.7 and say OK. Um, OK, so on the Stinger Pimp XS, um, it is defaulted to one squirt per minute. Micro squirts, um, change that to two. Um, and then just hit close. OK, the other option you want to uh, mess with here is... Um, you can start off with the general settings. You can go here um, and it, where it says incorporate AFR target. For your first startup, I would not suggest doing that because you may be really off. The computer may be trying to make other corrections. So just make sure you're at don't include AFR target and then hit burn. Uh, burn option down at the bottom. Uh, I'm not gonna do that just because uh, mine's already tuned. Um, anyway, um, and then the other thing that you want to make sure of is this uh, under fuel settings the first option injector dead time this looks different on the stinger than it does on the micro um, my injectors um, according to the spec sheet are 0.9 uh, depending on what you have they may be different and so i uh, believe the micro comes in standard with the setting of 1.3 so um, in this case that happens to be mine so whatever you choose to punch in there um, click burn after you're done um, and then uh, this is a good time for you to do a file save tune as um, give it a unique name I like to leave the the year month and date and uh, I take I usually take out the timestamp but you don't have to you can call this um, sensor settings or initial whatever you want to call it it's really up to you um, Anyway, um, I'll just call mine sensor settings and I'll hit save. Um, now, uh, like I said, if you got a tune from me, your field table should be really close for your setup. Uh, but what I tell everybody to do is just highlight this entire table and go ahead and scale it. You can either use the up and down arrow. You can use this scale key by, uh, if you click on it, if you want to raise it by 10%, you just go 1.10. That'll give you 10%. Uh, 
Uh, if you want to do a uh, take away 9% or 10%, just do times 0.9 and then hit OK. Uh, I'm not going to do any of that for now. Uh, in fact, um, I think at this point I'll go ahead and turn the car on and just show you uh, what's happening with the uh, fuel table, the fuel loads and that sort of thing and what kind of impact it makes. So I'll go ahead and start it. Appreciate it. 